Welcome back everyone to a brand new video for today. We're doing something a little bit different. I normally don't do these kind of, you know, testing videos that often. This is a viewer suggested thing and I was kind of iffy on it at first, but as I got more into it, I started to realize some very special things about this topic for today. So we're going to be exploring Isaac's most secret floor. It's called Floor 9C. It's a little spoiler right there. It's just called a question mark. Now what's so interesting about this seed is that it's ascension. The seed is an ascension floor, but it's not your normal ascension floor. I'm sorry, it's confusing, you'll see now. This is actually the hush fight, but in ascension, it doesn't make much sense to me either. So we're going to do some, a little bit of exploring and testing on here. Starting out with, we're going to give myself skeleton key so I can open up everything on this floor. With the shop, the shop seems normal. The shop, I've done a little bit of stuff on this already, so I know a little bit of, of things, but the shop seems normal. The item rooms seem normal. And this, this one does as well. Ooh, there we go, taking that immediately. Best item. Um, these chests don't drop anything special. It's all as you, uh, Isaac would normally function. Um, but there are some weird things. So if we turn on debug 10 here for a minute, just so we can kill Hush like instantly pretty much. And we, okay, whatever, that's fine. We walk in here. You'll notice that the texture of the floor is still the basement and it's all weirdly bloody. And the Hush door still opens. Now where the void portal would normally be, there's a cobweb, which again is not normal. Now if you take any of these exits to the next floors, like the tr either, either one of these is the same thing. Let's we'll take the beam of light for example, because it's it's ascension themed. You end up in home. You don't go to basement one, you don't go to, you know, depths two in ascension, you just go straight to home. So we're gonna go back, oops that's bad. We'll go back to stage 9C, and we're gonna try spawning in a trap door. With debug eight and we need to go deeper. Now, as you guys might know from the 30 character video, if you spawn a trap door on 13A, which is home, but you've already been in the bed and Dogma's ready to fight, the trap doors are an infinite loop. It's the same thing here. If you enter down to this trap door and give yourself like, I don't know, uh, Pluto and Mars and Minimush, um, and you, you go through the door here, oh, I can't even, there we go. You just walk through, I guess. Um, You'll see there's another trap door here, but it's not your normal trap door. You go back in, you're going to end up back inside of 9C. It's an endless loop, you can't really escape it. Now, another interesting thing is if I give myself R key, which this is a normal thing, you end up back on, on basement 1, nothing different there. However, if you give yourself, where's 9C? Genesis, I believe you end up back at home. Your items get taken away and you can go through here. Oh no, you end up back at 9C. Weird, okay, it, it's like doing it on the chest, okay. Now, the, the last thing I wanted to test, we, we can do this too, just to get the, the questions out of the way. Um, Forgive Me Now is, is the same thing as Genesis, pretty much. You end up back on this, but also the stage icon, by the way, is like a retextured womb with the home colors. It's it's weird. But now we're back here. See, the floor name is question mark. Um, it's like hush, but minus two question marks. Now, the last cool thing I want to test out, if you use red key on this floor with debug eight, also, we gotta get skeleton key back, I forgot. Um, that's the wrong item. Skeleton key. You can actually, so normally on the hush floor you can do this, you can go through here. When you're doing it on ascension, you don't just get basement one floors or hush rooms. You get every single floor in the game. You can walk in here, I'll, I'll turn debug 10 off for a minute, just so we can, we, we can observe this. Debug 10. If you go through... Oh, that's interesting, okay. If you go through any of these rooms, you'll see we got... This is a, a mines, a super mines room, or a tainted mines room. Also, we should probably just uh, debug three and four, just so we can kill these things faster. This is actually a a tainted mines room, which is weird because we didn't even go to the mines on this floor. Go up here, you're going to find yourself in a downpour room, which once again is weird because we've never been to the downpour on this seed. You go in here, it's a basement room. It makes sense because the floor is the basement style, is tiles are basement. But if you keep exploring this, the more and more you go, you can still find your angel rooms. Also, I'm going to do this because you guys have you guys have seen enough, I think. You can still find your angel rooms. You can still find pretty much everything. Um, what I wanted to test though is I did this twice already, and I found an arcade in the same spot twice. Just want to see if that's the same thing here. Um, another interesting thing about this is that there's a dice room, by the way, again. If you enter in, or if you go, you can't go directly next to the hush room. Um, this is normal in hush, I believe, as well. But you can go into one spot. Where the void portal would normally spawn, you can actually place a red room there. Which to me seems a little backwards because that's the one place where a room actually spawns. So why would you really put a, a key door there? But we know whatever. You can do this. And you can actually enter hush from this direction. 
So we turn off debug tent so we can actually go in here and look. We can enter through here, and we can't put an arc or a red key room back down. So that is a one-way exit. Now if we just do this and go back out the fool, I want to try to find a sacrifice room. I'm going to cut out the rest of this in case we don't find one in the right time. I'm going to keep talking in case we do find one right away. Um, we, we can go around here. Another interesting thing I found out is you actually cannot enter the shop through a red key. Well, that's not debug tent, is it? Um, you can actually not enter the shop with the red key. You have to go all the way around it, which it doesn't make... It, again, it, it's weird because there's no rocks in our shop, nothing blocking the shop from, from showing up or like being a an accessible room on this side of the map, you just, you just can't enter, which I think is kind of strange. There's our sacrifice room, okay. What happened? I, I, this is my first time sacrificing on this floor, let's see what happens. There should be three. We're getting nothing. We can't get uh, blessed on this because, oh, I guess we can, but we can't get angel rooms though is the weird thing. Unless we do get one here if we teleport to one. Doesn't look like it. The tower, so next should be angel or angel item. It's the angel. There's one key piece. Let's do it one more time. Because normally you can't find these rooms on Ascension. You can't find the sacrifice. You could R key to, or red key to find them, sorry. But it's, a, it's an interesting part. I just want to see how this works. If we go down to the dark room now. Where do we go? We actually end up in the dark room. Okay. Interesting. And it functions as normal, I'm guessing. Yeah, alright. It functions as normal. Brimstone? Come on, brimstone. Ah, never mind. But anyways, guys. That's going to be it for the video. I just wanted to explore that for a little bit. One more thing I want to show you about that, though, um, is when you use the Reverse Emperor card, which I believe is A6, yeah, 60. So if we pop the Emperor card, we end up fighting Monstro, which is always going to be Monstro. And when you beat Monstro, this happens. <laughs> you get two Hush Doors. Either one of them brings you back to the beginning of 9C, or you can walk into the Void Room on accident. You can't really do anything here, there's no art, like red keys you can pop, um, nothing like that. But if you walk out, you actually end up back in the starting room. If we do that one more time, we enter the other hush door, which would be the side, end up back there. Now if we do it one more time, we enter into these trap doors, it should bring us straight back to home. As you can see here, we're entering right now. That's pretty strange. It really is a little weird, but anyways guys, that is the end of this video. Thanks you guys for watching interesting floor interesting you know things going on here it probably was a scrapped floor for ascension if you ended up somehow fighting hush first i know you it, it's the game is coded where it puts you no matter what floors you've been to depths two first and you can go to mausoleum and all that but you can't go anywhere past that you can't ascension yourself into the womb you can't put yourself onto dark room and ascension it doesn't happen but it's weird that, that that the hush floor has this this special version and also it's, it's named differently so they, they kind of planned for this in a weird way but that's going to be it for the video thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed support the channel like comment subscribe for the algorithm that helps out a lot follow my twitch the discord my dog barking in the background um aside from that peace out see you guys later